Hello, it's a crafty chick, and this is the second half of the paper pumpkin video that I started for the November paper pumpkin. And if you missed it, we had made some mini albums, and we made um, some we made a cute gift box and some alternatives, alternative cards. And I'm continuing this for those who want to continue learning about the mini albums. And I can take this apart a little bit to show you how we did these. And then we can decorate them. Now, mini albums are sometimes. Um, well, usually the, the albums that are called mini albums are only a couple inches square. So these might be regular sized or medium sized albums, I guess. But anyway, so what we did is we took all of the envelopes from the paper pumpkin. Um, the, I'm only doing four at a time right now, but you can add them later for sure. We folded some of these backwards. First of all, we lined them up. This one I already cut, so it may not look lined up, but I lined them up like so, and then I cut a hole. And then we had this. Um, you can cut this part off if you want, so you just have the inside portion or you can fold them in. Now I chose to fold them in because I want to use these as pockets. So I have to remember this one has to be an inside one. So we'll get these two for the outside. This is a definitely an inside one and this is an outside one. And then that's your inside. Okay. So you want to fold them alternatively. Whoops, that one's going to be this way. Yeah, there we go. So fold these back, and you're going to want to have two facing, these two facing that way. Whoops, and these two facing this way. There we go. Or you could have them facing different ways. I want to see if I have this right. You could actually do it any number of ways. You could even cut this piece out if you didn't want a pocket on every single one. Um, I'm leaving this on the outside. Yeah, the outside is going to be this. Then you can slip things in if you want as well. And you can cut these out if you don't want to use them as pockets. It's entirely up to you how you want to do this. Personally, I want to use all of these as pockets, so I'm going to keep them in. So it doesn't matter how you fold them. You decide how you want it and then put the holes in it. So now I'm trying to figure out how I did this because I have to line up my holes. It probably would have been better if I had not taken it completely apart, but there we go. I think that's it. These are lined up. That one's not okay. How about we go like this? Close enough. As long as I have my inside pockets, I'm good. Okay, so I'm doing mine so that the front and back have that. You can do it so your front and back look like that. It's entirely up to you. But I want mine to look Christmassy, so I'm going this way. And then I just merely took a piece of string, like so. Where's my little two pieces? Ah, so for this one, I did two pieces of string. Line up my holes and push it through. And I just did a regular bow.
and the same thing with this piece. Now this is the braided, I say string, but it's braided ribbon that comes with the paper pumpkin kit. And I just basically did a bow and then cut it so it would be a good size. This one's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. You can tie it in a knot before you do a bow. I'm doing a bow right now because I may want to make this bigger. The other thing I did was I put holes in a couple of these pieces of cardstock and I just took my hole punch and I need a piece to make sure it lines up. Now these I cut a little bit too close to the edge I think. So I'm going to want to move it a little bit out. Those are too close too. I would say make sure it's at least uh, probably a eighth or quarter of an inch and I'm also I have some little reinforcement stickers that I can use if I feel like the holes are going to come apart. And on this one I did a little bit differently. I took a longer piece of the braided ribbon from the paper pumpkin kit and whoops, my holes are not lined up so make ugh. If yours aren't either, don't worry, it'll still work. Just try to do the best you can. I usually am the kind of person that sits there with a ruler and measures it and so forth, but this is, um, you know, you don't have to. So I, this way I put all the ribbon through all the holes and then I did it like that. It's a little bit different. And the trick to this is you got to make it loose enough so that you can open the book, but tight enough so the book doesn't start flopping around. Mm, a little bit looser. So it's probably easier just to do the individual ones like this. Ah, there we go. I had a little bit of, uh, so you might, might want to leave enough so you can stick your fingers through there. Is that too? Nope, they're not moving around that much. Let's see. A little bit. So maybe let's try it with two fingers. So I'm trying to make my trial and error your game. Yeah, that's good. So if you can stick two fingers under there then that's good. It's still kind of loose, but that's okay. So you can actually make this and then put it together. And you don't have to use this ribbon. You can use anything you want. So here's where the fun part comes in. Decorating. You can make this the front. Let's see. I think I might copy a little bit of, like, see, I made this for the card. I think what I'm going to do is put this as the front of my book. That would be cool. And let's see. Now you can either cover this up or you can I think what I'm going to do is actually combine these because I want some of these pages, I want this to be a little bit more sturdy. So actually what I'm going to do is alternate the cards and the envelopes. Sorry. <laughs> this is just my creative processes. This is a project I cased from someone else. But I think I'm going to make it my own. I'm going to alternate the cards in that and I think what I'm going to do is change it so that I have cards on the outside. Nope, the cards are smaller. So I'm going to want to keep the envelopes on the outside. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do then is actually I want the envelope, this one on the outside, to be plain. maybe or oh I could do it like that so then they can open it and there can be something in it that way 
And then the back side, I think I will have a pocket or vice versa. Do you see the endless possibilities you could do with this? Or you could just simply cut this off altogether. Just depends on how you want to do it. I think I would like to have, this is the front and the back be plain. Yep. And I think what I'm going to do is put them together. And let's see, where's my little threader? I have a handy dandy threading tool. And I'm going to use that because that's a lot more efficient. And if you don't know what I'm using, sorry, I'm using this threading tool. It's got the shape of a heart, but you don't have to get the heart-shaped ones. You can get this um, online from any place that sells threading or craft supplies. I think I actually got mine on Amazon. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. I got it at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, one of those. It was a couple dollars for three of them, so fairly cheap. But I use them a lot because I like to make these books a lot. And especially when I make my Christmas tags and I have to put holes in them, which is something else you could do with this paper pumpkin. You could make lovely Christmas tags just using any of this paper. Yeah, there we go. Oops, I skipped one. That's okay. So there you go. I skipped quite a few. Hmm, okay. Apparently, I didn't do this right. Okay, so without putting this together 17 times, um, let's decorate a page so you can get an idea. And you don't just have to use what's in the kit, but by golly, you could. So let's get a blank page. I'm going to do a blank page and put one here, and then like that. That is going to look so pretty. And you could use any card stack that you have on hand. Let's see, I'm going to use my snail. And I'm going to put glue on all four corners. And put it as close to this edge as I can. And then I'm going to put a glue dot here. Actually, I think what I'm going to do with that Mm, I don't know. That kind of takes the prettiness away, doesn't it? I think what I'm going to do is, this has some adhesive, so I think I might put a trim here. And I am going to put a glue dot down at the bottom because I want this to be a, put three glue dots, but just here on this part because I want to be able to put things in here. Whoops. Don't, don't rip the paper. Here we go. I think I'm going to puff this up just a little bit. And looks like an extra piece stuck to my finger. I can just go on there, use four glue dots. And I'm just going to lift this up just a tad because I might want to stuff this full of goodies. Maybe I can use this for a partner swap or something there. So now it's not just flat. I can actually put some stuff in there. Cool, cool, cool. And this one I think I will just leave flat as a decoration and put something here. So I can just use my glue, my adhesive, to put it down. Or what we could do, hmm is fold it over and use that adhesive to stick it. Hmm. Let's try that. Let's just see. Um, but then I'd have to cut this. Yeah, never mind. I'll just do it this way. And then I have some washi tape I could put here. Or some glitter. Just get this wet. Let's try that. 
I don't lick these things. I use my, that's alcohol, that's water. I use these little doodads. Um, these are filled with water and I use them to get my envelope glue wet because I don't lick envelopes. I usually end up slicing my tongue. And so since that's sticky right there, I'm going to try a little glitter. Let's see how that how that works, huh? There's only one way to find out. And mm, that's not quite as sticky as I was hoping it would be. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Start with my adhesive. And put some glitter on there. And oh, I need to see where it, you can, it sticks right where you put it. So I need to fix this a little bit to pour some back in here. That's why, even though these containers are a little big for the amount of glitter I have, um, I got these at the dollar store. Um, if I use the smaller containers, it makes a mess. I can't pour it back in. So just for those of you who are wondering why, have the mat. Ooh, that's a sticky mess. Glitter all over my. Okay, so um, whoops, I can see I'm missing a piece right here, and there's a piece that's on the edge. Too much there. Get my little glue eraser. Okay, which I got at. Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It's just a little eraser. It takes off glue like magic. C'est magique. There we go. And I probably put too much glitter on, but I like to make sure I have a lot of coverage. I'm going to wipe off all the extra. So that was kind of a off the cuff thing. I didn't really plan it and I didn't measure or anything, but you get the idea. I also have a three minute video showing how you can do that using all kinds of pieces of paper or what have you so there you go see that makes it nice and glittery that is too cute i think i'm gonna have to do this side too now that side looked plain okay i'm just gonna beat the heck out of it until no more glitter comes off before i send it to that person or you can just get a piece of uh kitchen tape and put it over it, protect it, or whatever, because I'm already wearing glitter. Anyway, um, if you don't want that, you can take a piece of washi tape that's nice and glittery and put that on all around it. Um, that's just my little placeholder so I know not to go outside the boundaries. And... Let's see, let's get a piece of this paper and we can put little messages right here. I'm going to get my, I think I can put, I'm going to put this on the front. This is the Cherry Cobbler ink spot that comes with your paper pumpkin. And this one says Merry Christmas. I'm actually going to put this on the very front. I don't even need an extra 
cardboard cutout or anything. And then, wiping off the glitter. There's glitter everywhere. I think I want to center it right in the center. There. And there's some vellum stuff here. See, that would fit over it and you can still see, but nope, nope, don't like that. Not good enough. It hides it. I think I will get some ribbon and some sprigs. I have some sprigs here somewhere. I know I have some sprigs. Here's one. And we've got some more here. And we can use our glue dots that I've hidden under all these other cards. Here we go. I'll just use these. And I can have one there. And one there. And then we can make a bow and put that over the sprigs. And I am giving a paper pumpkin away for free, so watch the other video called November 2018 Paper Pumpkin Alternate Projects so that you can win or try to win a paper pumpkin. Now I'm giving one away free on that video if you do certain things. So if you're also watching this video to see how to make a mini book, guess what? The people who aren't watching this don't know. I'll give you a free one for this too. Why? Because I want you to know how much I appreciate you spending time with me and joining me in making things. So that's kind of pretty. I think I want some stuff down here though too. Um, there. I want. I don't want the bottom of this bow to get, I need more glue dots. I don't want this, uh, the bow to hide the words, you know. So we're going to put it kind of sideways like that. There. Go that, that one's a little big. Yeah, I'm kind of a perfectionist. I want them to be symmetrical. There. And then we can also put, um, Let's see, is there anything here we can do? Oh, yes. So we can use um, another. Can we, oh, yeah, let's use this one. Even though this is kind of a big block, it's just the one I'm going to use right now. Even though I fully advocate using the right size block for the right stickers, but for the purposes of this, I am going to go like that. Ah, cool. We have not used this one yet on the other cards. I am going to randomly put some stars down because this looks blank. Okay, let's put one or two over here, one in the corner, and one over here. There we go. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? And then we can put some little sparklies on here. Let's see. I have some sequins from the kit and I think I will put one right over here. Do I want to put one? Whoops. No, not that high up. Come on. And there's glue, there's glue dots behind these sequins so they are self-adhesive. But now I just goofed up and so let's get another glue dot. I thought it would look okay on that sprig, but it does not. There we go. Um, I would like to put it mm, right there maybe. Yeah, that's good. Next to the bow. Not quite right on the bow, but that's cute. And since I goofed up this sprig and ripped off the green, I'm just going to snip that part off. There we go. Come on. There. 
here and nobody will know the difference. Let's take another one of these and put it over here. And one right there. Okay, so now we got some glitter. Just getting the idea. So it's just like doing a card, only you've got more pages. And I don't really have any family photos on hand, but that's what I would use this for. So let's see. Say I was giving these away as a goodie. So you could put these in here and you could put these in here. See all these things fit. Oh, let's see. I just want to give my friend all kinds of little goodies. This will fit. See anything big? You could put candy in here. If I have some on hand. Oh, I want to get her. Say I want to give her a gift of. Here we go. I have some candies that I'm using for a different gift, but these are kind of big. They may not fit that one, but you could you could tailor it. That's a little too much about this one. Yeah, you could hide it in there. You get the idea. There's so many things that you could do with this to decorate it and so forth. And if you don't want to use the envelopes, you can use the cuts to do that. I just think this is just a super cute alternative idea. You can also make gift tags, right? It's just endless, endless, endless possibilities out of one box, one paper pumpkin box, right? It's crazy, right? It's amazing. So, um, that is my alternative projects. Um, and I will follow up and end this by telling you how you can earn this paper pumpkin kit while I clean up a little bit. First, the rules are going to be a little bit different for this video than the last video. So pay attention. This video is going to be a drawing you'll need to put a comment below either in the YouTube video below on YouTube or uh, my Facebook business page in the comments section under the post where I have put uh, this video link and you're going to put a comment telling me why you should win a free paper pumpkin. It's a $20 value um, plus tax and shipping. So uh, all that is being paid for by me. So this will be 100% free. It is unopened. And if you are not a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, this would be a good way to find out what a paper pumpkin is all about, right? So put that in the comments and in next week, so today is December 2nd and it's a Sunday. So I will be doing my first and 15th video on the 15th. So I would like to do something between now and then because that's a long time for me to go without doing something. We will give it, give people time enough to see it. So we're going to say Saturday, the 8th of December. I will announce the winner of the free paper pumpkin from this second video series. So you don't have to be the first one. You just have to put a comment here telling me why you think you should win the paper pumpkin and I will select the person 
um, based on their answer. How does that sound? So you have to put some thought into it and um, let me know. And also let me know if you are already a subscriber or not a subscriber. That will not have any bearing on whether I pick you or not. I am just want to know. I'm curious to see how many people are already Paper Pumpkin subscribers and how many are not. Okay, and I will contact, I will, I will do a, um, a live video doing a wheel spin to show who won the Paper Pumpkin contest. And everybody, that's how I'm going to do it. I don't think I could really choose between one person's answer over another because I would feel like I'd have to pick everybody. <laughs> but still, um, let me know if you're a current subscriber or not. Put down why you think you should win it. And uh, we will do a live video on Saturday, December 8th, and I will do a wheel spin and announce the winner. How does that sound? And hopefully, if you commented, you will join me on my live video. And if you're not on the live video, I will post who won, and you will have 48 hours to respond for your gift, or I will pick a different person. And we will go on from there until somebody decides that they really want the gift and they're going to respond. How does that sound? <laughs> the little bit of effort on your part is needed. And I certainly thank you for spending this last half hour with me, learning how to do some alternative projects. Um, please look at my other video. If you want to look at the cards and the box, the gift box that we made. And I sure hope that you liked this idea for a little album. And I can't wait to finish mine. I'm going to have to put some more thought into it. And I am going to use other project products that I don't have in the paper pumpkin just because that's what I want to do. Um, I am going to use some um, espresso cardstock or darker cardstock. I think I'll cut some of these pieces off and then put the squares that you need in order to post photos. You know what I mean? So uh, when I'm done, I will certainly share that with you if you're interested. And this is a crafty chick. Thanking you very much for your time. I appreciate every minute that you spend with me because I know you are so busy and you could be spending it with anybody you wish. So I appreciate that you have chosen to spend it with me. And I've certainly had fun playing around with this craft set with you. Thanks for joining me. And this is a crafty chick saying happy crafting, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.